Good afternoon, everybody. It is a rainy day on this beautiful Thursday. Um, let me go ahead and grab my umbrella and look at all that candy. I will explain all that candy in just a moment. All right, so earlier on Instagram, I posted that Nook's Cranny was closed yesterday while I was playing because he is upgrading to his next model in the shop and also his store will be open today and we have this letter from Curly let's go ahead and read it to old Quentin yo Quentin how goes it you know I moved to Nintown right I wish we could still hang but I guess I'll manage out until you come visit later Curly so yes, Curly moved to Nintown, which is my other town that I created a few years back. Because since Nook's Cranny was closed yesterday, I couldn't stock up on Halloween candy. So I went to my other town to get all of the candy that you see here. Because the Nook store in my other town is fully expanded to the department store. And these guys should be my fossils. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and this one is from Tom Nook. Thank you so very much for your business. It is my pleasure to announce a complete store renovation. Come enjoy our wider selection of product. Nook in go. We're going to go do that right now. Let's check the bulletin board really quick. I'll check the rest of the mail later. All right, so yeah, October 16th is when he started selling Halloween candy, which is like two weeks before the 31st. So that's what we're doing. We are stocking up on candy. And you notice that my roof is now blue and I have a chimney because my house also recently expanded from the previous episode. Hello, Freya. How are you today? So we're going to go check out the new store and just look at this beautiful fall color that is coming in. The grass is starting to turn purple, and there it is. Nook and go. Alright, let's check the scenery around. Okay, my flowers are still intact. My tree is still there. I swear, with every Nook expansion, like, part of the scenery just disappears, so I'm worried about my flowers and stuff, but it looks like they're okay for now. Anyway, let's just stop chit-chat and just go right on inside and see how it looks. Welcome, do come in. Have a look around him. Feel free to browse, but try not to carouse. Ho ho. Alright, he has a cabana screen, and he has the red boombox, the barber stripe shirt, and a, another shirt. Three pieces of Halloween candy instead of two from the previous site. And let's see what kind of carpet he has. The titami floor, or the tatami. I think, I don't know how you pronounce it, but let's go ahead and take a look anyway. Very nice, very cool. 1340, hmm. I might be able to do that for my upstairs room. Maybe. I can always come back later for it. Alright, no, you sure? Well, no matter, feel free to browse, but... Yeah, feel free to keep browsing. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get our candy, which is the real reason why we are here. That's candy. The price is 100 bells. It's still that price. Would you like to buy it? I will. Thanks much. 100 bells. Thanks much. Alright. So, yes, Curly moved away when I went to Nintown to get candy from the other store. And in the process, we also got... Another villager that moved in. Um, he moved in last night, and then the day before, or a couple days before, another villager moved in. So we're gonna go ahead and go meet them really quick, and dig up any fossils and pull any weeds that we may find on the way. Oh, and I also have to show you the museum really quick because I forgot that an animal or a villager they gave me a painting as a thank you for helping them out. So we're gonna go take a look at that really quick. Okay. But I just love rainy days and Animal Crossing. Alright, um, there's the police station. Um, I'll check going on later. Crazy Red was in town last night and I got some, a piece of furniture which doesn't match what I'm going for at all, and I keep forgetting that the museum is on the other side of the river, and I can't go this way. Uh, 
And there's Maple's house. I think we've what? all met Maple already. Hmm. I don't see her around, so she's probably not even in. There's the bridge. And our coconut trees, I did plant two more after the ones we planted from the island were fully grown and they died. So I'll have to chop down a few extra trees to see if they will grow back. But I don't really like chopping down the trees that are already there unless I absolutely have to. And I had to do that twice because when I check the acres for weeds and stuff, I go all the way down as far as the screen can see. And if a tree is blocking my path, then I'll chop it down. But yeah, we got all these guys completed. We have the ammonite, the dinosaur egg, the... Okay, that's the ammonite. What was this one? The trilobite. That's what it was. So trilobite, dinosaur egg, ammonite, dinosaur track, and amber. We have a patasaurus neck. Our mammoth is the first completed fossil. And it doesn't give you a full description, like it does in future games. Blathers usually does that. But it just tells you who donated what. Our Stegosaurus and our T-Rex are almost complete. We just need the T-Rex tail and the Stegosaurus head. Uh, we also have the pterodactyl, pterodactyl left wing and the right wing. We just need to get the skull. And we also have the plesiosaur. Yeah, the plesios the plesionac, which we need the head and the tail to finish. But let's go ahead and go over to the art section. And we have the perfect painting, I think it is. Perfect painting, yep. Um I like how in future games it tells you the real name of the painting of what they are in real life and even though I did take an art history course in college, I don't remember this piece, unfortunately. So, yeah, fail. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back over. Um, let's check on our peach trees, because I, I did plant a couple of peach trees around the museum. Um, it should be over on this side. Yep, I have a peach tree right here that is growing very nicely. And the peaches on this tree, yep, they fully have grown back. Perfect. I can plant some more later on. And then I planted another one over by Lay's house. Uh, yep, right here. And the only reason why I planted peach trees was because Hector wanted a peach. And I'm like, okay, I might as well just give him a peach and plant some more peach trees. All right, and here we have Sprocket. He is one of our newer villagers who moved in last night, actually. Hey, afternoon there. This rain doesn't bother me, not in the slightest. How about yourself, Zort? Yeah, shrug it off like water off a duck's bag. That's an awesome saying, Zort. Tell me, Quentin, what's new, Zort? Um, just hanging. You know, you have in intense eyes. <laughs> Do you play any sports? I haven't. Really? I'm usually good at spotting these things, Zort. You look like you'd be good at biking with your body type. You're robbing the world of a great athlete. Aw, oh, well thank you. Let's go ahead and take a look at his house. It's pretty cool. He's got a little mixture of things going on. He's got like the Lunar Lander. He's got the Wrestling Bell. And he's got the blue corner, the red corner, a locker, some construction stuff going on. Really cool wallpaper. I think it's the industrial wallpaper. Very cool. And his stereo has KK Techno Pop, which is really nice. And the Dinkloids, I think is what they are. Or the Clinkoids, I don't remember. But still very cool. Alright, and the other one is Pudge, and he is back over this way by the waterfall. On the other side of the river. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um, but first, let's go to the Wishing Well, just so I can clarify. What errand do you have at the Wishing Well of Hojo? How are things? In areas where there is very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to Acre A2 and see what is amiss. And Acre, whoops, no. Acre A2, that is our area where the dump is. And some more trees can be planted um, by the railroad tracks. So once I get more cedar trees, I'll plant some over there. 
But basically your wishing well will tell you what areas need the most attention and will let you know when you reach the perfect town status and you just gotta keep asking how things are. The bridge is down here. And in a two week period, you will get the golden axe. I still don't have the golden shovel. I do have a shovel ready to go. I'm just waiting for that shiny spot to be in the right place for a tree to grow because it died the last time because I think there are too many trees and... Okay, Gulliver's here, so let's see if we can wake him up. Her... Ga... Wake up, Gulliver! Oh, the pain! The terrible, horrible pain! The awful, brutal, gastro interminable pain. It was just one wafer thin mint, but I was already so full. Oh, my stomach. I'll never forgive that waiter. I was attacked. It was a gi gi gigantic sh sh a really big shark. At least I think it was. It was really dark. Heck, for all I know, it could have been a hunk of driftwood. Wake up! Her God. I was attacked. It was a gi gi gigantic sh sh a really big shark. Wake up, Gulliver. Wake up. Wake up. No, I don't want that shell. Put it back. Her God. Wake up. Help me, please. Help me. Oh, ah. Uh, there we go. Well, where am I? Did you save me? So, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of gesture for my gratitude then. Well then, thank you. Thanks so much. Not really, I'm sure. I do appreciate it. I sure do. Hmm. Oh, I see. You wanted a token of my thanks. Well, bye. <laughs> if that was what you want, then I've got just the thing for you. In fact, I think you'll be quite delighted. I have sailed the seven seas and have visited tourist traps in many countries. Huh? You don't like souvenirs? Well, that's a real shame, because this one's a beaut. I bartered this off a seedy-looking merchant when I was visiting a far-off port town. You won't find another like it anywhere. At least, I don't think you will. You know, I'm just a rolling stone, never knowing where I'm going. Hmm, wait a sec. Maybe that's why I don't swim so well. Anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is... The guys, my shipmates, they think that maybe if they tie me to the mast, I won't fall off the boat so much. So with my luck, so with any luck, maybe I won't be washing up on your beach too often. At least not for a little while. Thanks for the whole saving my life thing. May your sails stay full and your socks stay dry. Thank you, Gulliver. Thank you. Let's see, what did he give us? A fishing bear. Ooh. We'll definitely check that out when we get back to the house. Um, okay, yeah, we're on the right side of the river this time. Alright. And we have Pudge. Oh, and he's going inside to get out of the rain. Good idea, buddy. Who's there? Alright, and here is Pudge's house. A little barbershop full, Apple TV. Uh... Oh, it's Falcon's ship, I think. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Falcon Wing? I don't know, I could be wrong. Hey, Quentin! Did you eat lunch yet? Actually, I did, yeah, I just finished lunch before I started making this video. I just stuffed my belly full of grub, and I'm feeling it. I doubt I'll be moving much for a while, Pudgy. Um, what's up, Pudgy? I think he's a lazy villager, judging by what he just said. Let's talk. Chopping down trees is a pretty good way of relieving stress, but of course, there's always a downside. Planting replacement trees is such a huge pain, and if you don't plant them, you can't chop them down again. That is true. So, Quentin, I guess what I'm getting at is... Plant some trees, will you, Pudgy? Sure, I'm on it. Right on, sounds like a plan, Quentin. Plant some fruit trees while you're at it, Pudgy. It has a nice, cute little house. I like it. A little hamster wheel. Did I send him that hamster wheel? I'm... 
Hmm. Yeah, because I think in this game, if you send animals, like, or send the villagers furniture and clothes and stuff, they won't put it in their house. But a villager did give me a hamster cage, and I think I gave it to another villager as a welcome present. But I just, I don't know. But yeah, a while, like years ago when I first started playing, um, I really wanted that regal bed, which we still have to get for Annalise on the island, but I really wanted that regal bed, so any villager that was in town and had the regal bed, I would always send them letters with furniture, and I would mention regal bed somewhere in the letter in hopes that they would send me a regal bed, but no. You have to get the regal bed, either via cheat code, which is something that I don't want to do, I'm trying to play it as legitimately as possible, or wait until Crazy Red has it in his tent. Let's say hello to Wolfgang. Well, 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 if it isn't Quentin, wandering the day away, don't you have a job or something, Snarl? Actually, it's my day off. Yeah, so what do you want, Snarl? I'm bored. Not really. Hey, Quentin, do you always have to run when you go somewhere? No, I don't always run. Oh, really? Don't you get frustrated? I mean, you're such a slowpoke. Isn't it annoying? <laughs> oh, thanks, Wolfgang. And then we have Candy. Let's see if she'll let me actually do something for her, because every time I ask her for help, she doesn't have anything for me to do. This animal told me the other day that the ground hardens after a rainstorm. Isn't that just a huge lie? It's like, open your eyes. Hello, the ground is totally soggy and gross. It's not hard at all. Anyway, what's up, sweetie? Give me a job? Doesn't your heart just go pitter-pat when you first open a letter from a good friend of yours? But lately, my heart hasn't pitter-pattered at all. I don't care who it's from, I just want a letter. I totally need a good pitter-pattering, sweetie. Alright, Candy, I will send you a letter after I finish this episode. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back and take a look at the house. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode. So, welcome to Hojo, Sprocket, and Pudge. I hope they will be very happy here. Sad that Curly recently left. But I, we can always go visit them, and we will soon, I promise. So we have our classic wallpaper. We still have the charcoal tile that we started with. We got the space heater that we got from Crazy Red. Classic clock and the classic sofa. We have the kitty wardrobe, which is currently holding my candy right now. And the sad thing is, with the wardrobes and the dresser in this game, they can only hold three items at a time. That is not furniture. So you can't put furniture inside of furniture. It has to be something else. So every time I try to open it, they'll ask me if I want to remove because I already have three items inside. And then we still have our little notebook in our journal that keeps track of how many days that I've played. So lately, from the 14th through the 17th, I've been playing mostly in the evenings after winding down from a day of work, which is at like 6 or 7 o'clock at night, so just when the sun is setting. And we also have our computer that we got at Crazy Red's tent last night. It was the most expensive item in his tent, like over 7,000 bells. And you can't interact with it, it doesn't turn on or anything, but I thought, mm, I might be able to use this for a future room. And I have it here displayed next to my G logo. So, I might turn my upstairs room into a gaming room whenever I get the upstairs expansion, I don't know. And then of course we still have our tape deck, which we got from the very beginning. And it still doesn't have any music, but Saturday I will record a quick episode before I have to go work the closing shift, so we can go see KK Slider then. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back outside and say good night. Thank you guys so much for watching. This episode was hopefully rather quick. Yeah, roughly 20 minutes. Uh, so thank you guys again for watching. Feel free to comment and subscribe if you want to see more Animal Crossing content, or you can follow me over on Instagram where I will be definitely posting more Animal Crossing stuff, as well as on my Tumblr. Links will be down below in the description box. 
Happy Thursday, guys. It's almost the weekend. Hang in there. Halloween is just around the corner as well. I'm super duper excited for that. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.